What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com, creator of the Outright Bar, and <laughs> IFBB Pro. But you guys who've been following me a long time, a lot of people stopped following me when I did it because I was really bad at it. No, because you guys come to me for bodybuilding, fitness, and maybe some entertainment. Boxing wasn't it. But I took five years off of bodybuilding to box because I love the sweet science. I love the sport. I miss it every single day. I'll catch myself in my office, you know, shadow boxing and, and it's crowd doing it in the gym sometimes. I love boxing. I love the sport. I will just never be good enough, especially at 41 years old, to ever progress well enough to be a pro. I could be an amateur. I could fight in the master's division. I might still do that. I might do it this year, but I'm not the guy. What I do know is that I'm addicted to boxing. I know boxing, and I was actually, <laughs> man, I watched the Thor versus Eddie Hall fight. And um, bravo, anybody talking shit about these gentlemen have never boxed a day in their life. The first thing I want to point out, amateur fights. And these are amateurs. They are not professional boxers. Amateur fights are generally three two-minute rounds with one-minute break in between. So it's six total minutes of boxing, nine total minutes of a fight. If you don't have a knockout, knockdown, TKO, whatever. So these guys not only fought, but they went twice as long as normal amateurs. Now, as someone who has fought in a real fight and sparred, I've sparred for 10 three-minute rounds. I've sparred for uh, 15 three-minute rounds, but we did, I think, two on, one off, two on, two off, somewhere in there. There was enough guys to really get a good session in. Man, fighting will exhaust you. Number one, I think we need to recognize that these guys are elite athletes. To be able to go for six rounds at two minutes a piece and not fall down from exhaustion. And in the case of Thor, being able to keep your hands up the entire six rounds, Thor did something special. So first off, I want to say these are great athletes. There is no hatred or animosity from me for them getting in the ring because they showed they are athletic enough to do so. But I will say what I saw, Thor took this seriously. He had warm-up fights. He was living like a boxer. Thor knew how to fight. He worked his jab, utilizing his tremendous height advantage of, I believe, five inches. He utilized more footwork. He was able to pull back. He was able to parry. He was able to slip. He was able to do a lot of things that Eddie Hall did not know how to do. Eddie Hall was actually, I was a little bit disappointed seeing that Eddie Hall had the same amount of time as Thor to learn how to box. Eddie Hall came in there with one of the weirdest stances I've ever seen since Conor McGregor got in a boxing ring. At least Conor McGregor had his hands up. For some reason, and I think I know why, Eddie Hall had his left, or his he was lefty. He, he actually switched. Southpaw to, you know, more traditional, right? So, orthodox. So, he went one hand up. The right hand was down. Now, that could have either been to prevent him from tiring, because holding up both arms is tiring, or he was loading up that right hand to throw. For those of you who know boxing, and again, I am a decent bodybuilder, a mediocre boxer. I'm not claiming to be Mike Tyson. I'm not even claiming to be Mike Tyson's pigeon. I'm claiming to be a guy who really fucking loves the sport and has spent five years of my life living and training like a boxer. So when you load your punch, right, you're here. Let's say I slip, okay? I slip a jab or a cross or whatever, so I slip. I'm coming down, my hand's loaded here. Come over with the hips, overhand right. Eddie Hall was trying to throw this overhand right because obviously if you saw it, his killer shot 
was his overhand. I believe it was, he's righty or lefty. He switched southpaw to orthodox, right? So his, his killer move was this haymaker overhand. And I don't know who the hell coached him. Or if he just, sometimes, you know what? The first time I sparred, my coach told me that everything I learned will be thrown out the window because you go down to instinct. It looked like Eddie Hall came out with absolutely no training in boxing. That was all instinct. He had his right hand down the whole time and boom, immediately got a cut to the eye because his whole side of the face was open. And Thor with that reach, Eddie Hall did keep do a pretty good job. They even joked about it a little. He stayed offline, right? Kept his, uh, kept his shoulder up, kind of like the Mayweather turtle shell, right? The Philly shell. Kind of did that. But what you saw is that Eddie Hall was outclassed by Thor. But Eddie Hall did get that knockdown because he's the world's strongest fucking man. If he lands, all it takes is one punch. And I think that's what Eddie Hall's corner was going for. Whether he wasn't interested in training for boxing, look, man, you can't convince me other than the fact that he lasted for six rounds, which is fucking unbelievable. And I think we should all give them trophies and hand jobs for that. Other than lasting six rounds, Eddie Hall didn't look like he ever did anything but hit mitts. Like the dude didn't look like he sparred. Because if you spar, I guarantee you this. If I'd have dropped my hands at Music City Boxing or Pro Boxing Fitness, fighting with even the worst boxer there below me, which doesn't exist. So the only boxer who was the worst boxer excluding me, because I would be the worst one. So if let's say I'm fighting the worst guy at my gym and I'm fighting with my hand down, I'm getting my fucking face Powed, just fucking hit right there in the fucking face. I think that what this showed is that Thor took this shit seriously and Eddie Hall thought he would land that one haymaker because he's strong as fuck and make the money. Now, they both got paid very handsomely. So what I found out here is two things. Number one is, yes, Thor won. I am amazed that he didn't knock Eddie Hall out. And the reason he didn't knock him out, I could ramble on for days and I might, is because Thor was too respectful of Eddie's power. Thor would set him up with the jab, sometimes double jab, but he was afraid to let loose with his other hand. He was afraid to let loose with his left, which is his power hand. So he jab, jab, he would hold back. He wasn't letting his hands fly. Another thing both fighters did a horrible job of, nobody went for the body. It's almost like the coaches didn't realize that below the neck, there's a whole body. I don't think I saw one body shot. And, and maybe it's because I was watching on my phone because I was traveling, but I didn't see one body shot. I saw a lot of, and again, like Thor didn't really need to do any body shots because he was fucking with him with that jab. But imagine if he's working the top the whole time, Eddie Hall's hands down. He's got that entire side open. His whole solar plexus is open, man. He hits him in the stomach, gets a body shot, knocks his wind out, hands drop, lights out. It's easy to play Monday morning quarterback, which is exactly what I'm doing right here. But... In summation, or to surmise, I don't even know if that's a fucking word, Eddie Hall didn't put enough time in the ring. He didn't spar enough. He didn't really look like he even trained for boxing much. Thor, you could tell that motherfucker put in work. And that is one fucking big dude. He was light on his feet. All respect. In fact, I'm surprised he didn't knock. If he would have let his hands fly, it would have been a different story. But we also need to acknowledge these are amazing athletes. These are large, I can't even call them men. They're like gorillas who lasted for entire six rounds. Granted, they were two-minute rounds. But remember, standard amateur match is only three two-minute rounds. Anyway, guys, thanks. What did you think? Do you think my analysis is good? Do you think I'm an idiot? Do you think I'm an idiot? 
plus, I know what I'm talking about here. Think I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm talking about here. I want to know your thoughts. Comment down below. Share this video. Like this channel. Like, share this video. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. And if you have any sport nutrition needs, be sure to get them from tigerfitness.com. I'm Mark Lobiner. That's not a game. So, the great thing about supplements and data is it keeps growing and expanding. We keep finding out new stuff. The good news is the stuff we're finding out is awesome. Machine Motion, the greatest joint care formula ever created, containing Cystus quadrangularis, curcumin, bromelain, sodium hy hyaluronate. I can never pronounce that. Tamiflex, I'll get into that, and Bioprene. Now, check it out. There's new data on Tamiflex that not only does this work, a lot of people say, well, how fast does it work? Check it out. In new data, this product will work in as little as five days. That means joint pain alleviation in as little as five days. If you're looking for the perfect joint care product, Machine Motion, in stock now at tigerfitness.com.